Well, a lot of it was luck, to be honest, uh, at the very beginning, because um, I, I was touring in the UK on the eve of a, coming to do a big American tour, coast to coast. And um, I was in the tour bus and, in the UK, and I could feel a lump I could lift up and above and below my collarbone. And I, I thought, well, that's, what's that? You know, and, and I just thought I was tired from being overdoing it on the road. So I went to see my doctor and he, he straight away referred me to go to a blood test at the hospital. And where I lived at the time, there was no cancer center or anything like that. So I just went to hospital for a blood test. I had no idea what was coming. Uh, the nurse asked me to give blood and she said, and I was on the way to a gig. My brother was waiting in the car, Jules, my wife was with me. And, and she said, oh, the doctor just wants to see her for a few minutes after the test. So I hung around and went into the office and then a sheet of paper came across the desk and it had, let's talk about cancer written on it. And I just went into a kind of a whiteout. And uh, even the doctor could see I was gone into shock. And he, he said, look, Mike, I'm giving you this leaflet so you can read about it tonight and let's talk about it, how we're going to cure you tomorrow. And within minutes, I was out in the car with my brother I didn't even know what happened. I was in shock. And we, uh, next minute, I wake up and I'm at home. And uh, we're putting the kettle on because we're British to make a cup of tea, as you do. And, um, and then he's picking up the phone. I said, who are you calling? He said, well, I'm phoning the gig. We're going to cancel the gig tonight. I said, no, put the phone down. Let's go. And we drove to the show and played the show. And I, I just thought if I'd stayed at home and, and tried to sort of come to terms with what was happening. I, I didn't have the knowledge or the skill set to understand what was really coming my way. And I thought, well, let's, let's go and just play a gig because that's what I do know. That's where I'm most alive. So let's dive into that. And it was yeah. pure instinct, obviously driven by fear, but it led me into a good place. The show must go on, I'm a musician. And, um, and I think that enabled to keep me alive. And so when they said to me the next morning, okay, Mike, we're gonna go for cure. We're gonna do a bone marrow transplant. We're, you're young, we're gonna get you alive. We're gonna keep you well. I said, that's fine. And we're gonna start tomorrow. I said, well, that's all right and good, but I'm actually going on a plane to America tomorrow for an American tour. And, uh, and I said, look, if I cancel the tour, it's so negative. There's, there's more negatives. Right taking a tour down and actually going and playing it. And I said, I'd have to explain myself. It was going to be terrifying. So I, I, they agreed in the end I could do the tour. And, and so I, I bought the camo jacket and, and uh, went to war in my head. And, and it's kept me alive ever since. 